I'm betting you didn't know that there were two different Sub-Zeros. Unless you're a real OG that played the original game. However, Sub-Zero has become one of the most famous video game characters of all time. And without a doubt, one of the most famous fighting game characters. I mean, the rivalry between him and Scorpion is legendary around the world. And minus the literal ice powers, I actually think it's possible to train just like him. So in this video, we're going to break down his fighting styles so that we can train just like Sub-Zero. What's up guys, this is the old ninja wearing Avidus and a super royal hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja channel. Now before we get started, I need to know which Mortal Kombat character is the most powerful? Let me know in the comments down below. But who exactly is Sub-Zero? Well, as one of the original seven characters in the first Mortal Kombat game in 1992, he was inspired by classic martial arts movies that the creator Ed Boon and John Tobias enjoyed. I can't talk today. Originally, Bai Han was introduced as a ninja assassin in the Lin Kuei clan, possessing the standard ice powers and setting the Sub-Zero standard that is still held up today, and he was set on his quest to fulfill his clan's goal. But his rivalry with Scorpion led to his defeat and death, eventually being resurrected as Noob Saibot. However, the second Sub-Zero was his brother, Han's younger brother to be precise, Kwai Lang. Still trading on my name. A name you forsook long ago. Not willingly. He took up the role of Sub-Zero after his brother's death, you know, to honor his legacy and family. Very Zuko-like. And much like Zuko, after realizing how corrupt his clan was, he is now set on a quest to find justice and protect the Earth Realm, seeking to redeem the Fire Nation, I mean, <laughs> the Ninja Clan. Yes, I know that Sub-Zero predates Zuko, I just couldn't resist the similarities. But in order to fight like the man himself, we're going to have to start with some gymnastics, or at least parkour. This shows up often in his fighting style, you can see how he does a lot of his different techniques and jumps with evasions that are definitely straight out of gymnastics or parkour. But we're also going to add in some ninjutsu obviously. It is known for its focus on stealth, agility, tactics, and combat. And I mean, it's literally the art of the ninja. So if you think for one second it wouldn't be a part of this character's fighting style, you're absolute, absolutely crazy. I mean, this channel's literally called the Modern Ninja, guys. It's in the name. However, that's not quite enough by itself to mimic his fighting style and his movements. We are going to also mix in some karate or karate. And I'm gonna say karate because I'm American, so don't roast me too bad in the comments. But the stances we see Sub-Zero use are heavily influenced by the traditional karate forms. And the striking elements in karate will help us make our attacks very powerful and precise, giving us both dynamic upper body strikes and powerful kicks. But his fluidity isn't quite karate though, and that's going to pull a little bit from Kung Fu. This is going to make us have the same kind of dynamics and body motions that Sub-Zero uses, focusing on the grace and art of the techniques over the more rigid karate moves. And of course, we're going to pull from jujitsu to get joint locks and throws as well. This Japanese martial art is excellent at close combat self-defense, and we need to be able to throw people around and control the battlefield, so this is a must. And lastly, you're just gonna keep some liquid nitrogen in a water bottle in your pocket so you can spray people when they come too close, and there you go, you're on your way to becoming a real life Sub-Zero. But to really get you started, allow me to teach you some of the moves that we see him do. So now we're gonna talk about Sub-Zero's combination taken from one of my favorite cinematics ever, this one right here. It's, it's amazing, it's per so, so well done. Uh, and if you want me to do some of Scorpion's moves, let me know, but today, again, we're going over Sub-Zero's. And so, we're gonna start off with our open stance, just like a Street Fighter character would, having our left leg in front, right leg in the back, hands up in our guard position just like so. I've covered guard in many, many videos before, so go check them out if you're interested. But we're gonna start off with an inside block with our lead hand, just left hand, inside block here. 
From here, we're gonna take that right hand, go for a cross as we pivot on our right foot to really extend our punch. So we block and really extend to put our body into that punch. So again, we have one, two. Once we're here, we're gonna grab as we skip forward with our legs. That's just pulling it in, sliding it out, and grabbing with our left hand. Behind the neck, you wanna make sure you hook the back of the neck. That's a really good latch point, keeping your elbow down so you can uppercut two times, two times, and then pulling back for a ice blast. But in this case, since we don't have ice blast, we're just going to use two palm strikes, one going to the uh, Ing Chun, basically the, the mustache level, allowing you to break not only your jaw, but your teeth and your nose. And the second one going into the solar plex or the center of your body to make you lean into that second strike. And all that is, is at the same time, bang, hitting both center and center just like that. So one more time from the beginning, we have our block, our pivot punch, locking around the back of the head as we slide forward, uppercut, uppercut, wind up, hit. Once we're here, we're going to grab right step one, right, left step two as our circle throws them off screen, <laughs> just like that. So one more time, nice and slow. I'm starting way over here so that you can see the whole thing hopefully, but we have one, two, skip in, three, four, with our uppercuts, load up, five, palm strikes hitting with the base of your hands, bang. <clears throat> Grabbing, right step, left step, and twisting with your hips for the throw. You're not really using your hands to do the work. You're really rotating and letting their body do the rest. All the way through, it'll look something like this. I don't wanna break my microphone, so I'm gonna take this off. And hopefully that lines up just about perfectly. But let's go back inside and finish the video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want me to release the Scorpion video early, get this video to 100 likes. That would be pretty dope. But I mean, I'm gonna release it eventually anyway, cause that's just how I do things. I like y'all, y'all are great, so I wanna produce more content for you. But if you want to get it early, definitely hit those likes. And if you wanna see it earlier after I make it, definitely consider becoming a channel member where you can get your name right here uh, at the end of the video and it'll be the best way of supporting me and the channel to make better and more content. The less time I have to spend at my two other jobs, the more time I get to spend making content for you guys. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out. Be the modern ninja, but lift off. Just know I'm dangerous. Baby, perfect. I'm on that Bruce Lee, flow like water, state of mind. Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been. Gotta grab a sheet of paper, as you know I got the pin. Anybody want to smoke your whole career, be looking grim. I hit flashing chains while your boy been in the gym. Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to...